Yeah, so yesterday I showed off what I've got at game, uh, Best Buy, which is the entirety of the MCU Infinity Saga. I own every single one of them now on 4K Blu-ray, and I just wanted to go over each film quickly to tell you guys what I thought of each film. Um, heads up, I'm also running a review for my Oculus Quest. I've been doing live streams of it on my Facebook. Really enjoyed the headset. Definitely worth the money if you guys have like five, $400 to spare. Really high quality headset. Um, definitely great if you don't have a high end PC, such as myself. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this video. So, I have always been in love with the MCU. Uh, ever since the first Iron Man movie, I have always stuck by Marvel with any movie. Um, I do not own Incredible Hulk, though, as of it's not my favorite. I do own it digitally on Voodoo, though. But I just didn't much care for it. But I'm going to go with each film in the Marvel MCU franchise. Do like a quick 30 second review of it. And then move on. So starting off it with Iron Man. Um, fantastic start for the MCU. Um, John Favreau did a fantastic job with Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. was the perfect cast. Not casting for Tony Stark. He acts just like he does in the comics. CGI. Most of it still holds up to this day. Um, if you have never seen Iron Man, uh, it's a great movie. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it by now. It's fantastic. It's fun to watch. Um, and I love it. So it's, it's one of my favorites. So Incredible Hulk, like I said, I don't own, but Incredible Hulk, it's okay. Uh, I don't think Edward Norton was a good casting call. Uh, he's, if you don't know how he's like in real life, he is kind of a dick. So, uh, yeah, I don't. Much care for him. The movie's okay. It's kind of boring. I don't really much care for it at all, but uh, that's my opinion. It's like a 5 out of 10 for me. Then we got Iron Man 2, a fantastic sequel to the first movie. Not many people care about Iron Man 2, which is strange. Uh, I, I personally think that Iron Man 2 is wonderful. I think it not only is a good sequel to the first movie, but it's actually like on par with it. Um, they recasted, um, God, I can't remember his name now. It's uh, Tim. Terrence Howard, after you know he wanted more money, they were casting him with Don Cheadle, and I think that was for the best because Don Cheadle to me is a better actor than Terrence Howard. But Iron Man Two, fantastic sequel to the first movie. Then we move on to Thor. Um, it's good. Now, it's not great. It's not fantastic like Iron Man. Iron Man Two is. There are some parts that are extremely boring in Thor, but overall, it's a good origin story. It's a good first movie for Thor. I think they really knocked it out of the park with it. Um, definitely the second best out of the Thor trilogy that they have. I cannot wait to see how he's going to be with the Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. But Chris Helmsworth, man, did they choose a, the right actor to play Thor. He did phenomenal. Uh, next is Captain America, the first Avenger. Um, oh, by the way, I've seen all these movies in theaters. So this is possibly one of my best, well... Probably my third best theater experience I've had with a Marvel movie. Pete, this movie was great. Uh, again, perfect casting for Chris Evans as you know, as Captain America. Great casting. He looks the part and he acts the part. Uh, this was this was a great palate cleanser after you know the good but not fantastic Thor. Definitely worth the watch. I love Captain America: First Avenger. Then I'm not going to take the time to. Take this out, but I take out the Blu-ray. But we got the first Avengers movie, which oh man, I love. Well, I loved three out of the four Avengers movies. I think Age of Ultron's good, but man, the first Avengers movie was a great way to end Phase One of the MCU. It was really well done. Didn't have that much comedy. It had comedy, but it didn't overpower the drama. And the action, which is what it needed. It was fucking great. I loved the first Avengers movie, and I always will. So coming up right after that was Iron Man 3. Another great sequel to Iron Man 2. And Iron Man 1, I mean, this, this movie is also great. People agree that this one's better than Iron Man 2. Honestly, I think all three are on par with each other. Um, I think this was a great last standalone Iron Man movie. Um... I think, you know, I, I, although the villain in this movie is exceptionally weak, Ben Kingsley's villain was just not that good. The drama in the movie itself was really well done, and I will continue to defend Iron Man 3 no matter how, no matter how long it takes. Then we got possibly 
one of the weaker films in MCU, Thor The Dark World. Um, while still better than Incredible Hulk, I do think this was an exceptionally weak sequel for Thor. This is probably the worst of the trilogy for me. Uh, really bland, kind of boring. Uh, man, almost made me fall asleep. Every time I watch it, I almost fall asleep. No, it's not, it's not, like, horrible or anything. Again, Chris Hills were the greatest Thor. It's just, it's not the best Thor movie out there at all. I mean, it's just, bleh. It's a bleh movie. Then we got Captain America Winter Soldier, which everyone agrees is possibly the best Captain America movie. And I will, I would have to agree, and fucking Best Buy, with their fucking shipping. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's a good movie. It's fantastic. I absolutely love the Winter Soldier movie. The Winter Soldier himself, great uh, villain. Uh, Chris Evans, again, knocks out of Parkus, no Captain America. Coming up next is a big surprise, Guardians of the fucking Galaxy. I don't own this on 4K as uh, Best Buy didn't have this on 4K or so I would have gotten it. But Guardians of the Galaxy, man, what a big surprise. Um, no, I didn't expect it to be as good as it was, but god damn it was good. All the casting in this movie was perfect down to a T. And I always rewatch Guardians of the Galaxy all the time. I absolutely love this movie. So then after that we got Ant-Man. Uh, great movie. Um, really well done, I will say. Um, big shocker, just like Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Phase 2 included two of the biggest shockers, which was Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant-Man, for that matter. Ant-Man was a huge hit, uh, critically for people. Paul Rudd did a perfect Scott Lang to me. Uh, uh, Michael Douglas was also good in it. It had a lot, this is probably the most humorous one out the MCU, so... Uh, I'm gonna end the video here and do a part two. So, uh, my phone is running out of space, so, uh, I'll be right back.